Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome to Field to Fork. I'm Abby J, and fall is in the air, and I have Peggy Bussey from Falcon Farms Ingalls Supermarkets, and she's been in the floral industry for at least 35 years, here to show us how to make some beautiful floral arrangements. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Abby J. All right, so tell us about how you got started in the floral industry. Well, I started in a little town actually in Georgia. Um, I moved from Tampa to the mountains and was kind of bored. I had a son that went to kindergarten and I didn't have any family or friends, so I bugged a local business to take a job and he gave it to me and never left until I moved back to Tampa. So local people, they didn't like me at first because I wasn't from here, but they mm -hmm. finally accepted me and decided I was one of the family. So How about that? I'm one of the family everywhere I go. Well, it's in your blood, I know, because you make so many beautiful arrangements. And what are we doing today? Um, today, we're just going to kind of do a, maybe a long and low. We're going to do something maybe for your table for the holidays coming up. Um, we're just going to do some fall colors. Fall colors are just now coming into the market. So we're kind of limited mm. on the things. We don't have a lot of rust and stuff, but we're going to make this work with what we've got. And you all like it. So let's get started. So, so let's go. How do you start it? So what I did was I went ahead and soaked some oasis because of time. So when you soak your block of oasis, this is going to be an oasis form. So when you soak this, you need to make sure you let it soak on its own so it doesn't dry pocket. Um, dry pockets will cause your flowers to die. So just soak it for 10 or 15 minutes and pull it out and then you can start cutting it to fit, to fit your container. So I cut it, I put it in my container, and then I've gone ahead and I've started pre-greening, just like I said, for time. So what I've done is I've put some, um, this is Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. That and, smells so good, too. Yeah, eucalyptus comes in a lot of varieties. And then we have some seeded eucalyptus, and kind of what makes a difference is it has little seeds in it, little mm -hmm. berries. And we're going to use some pit, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working my form and try to cover the edge. And I've made a... Um, I've made a skirt around to try to cover the mechanics. And basically what these greens around the bottom do is it just covers all the mechanics. So mm -hmm. you don't see any of your oasis or your forms or any of that kind of stuff. Mm. And it kind of just gives you some depth to your arrangement. I like a lot of texture in my stuff. So I use a lot of different varieties of things, but this is a pit of sporin, And really it's just nice. another texture mm -hmm. and so we're going to just keep adding when you're working you always want to make sure that you pull your leaves down under your water line mm -hmm. I'm putting this into oasis so I'm just making sure the leaves are because what happens when the leaves get into the water the foliage gets into the water it causes it to get bacteria and you lose your product quicker so it's always real important to strip the foliage as far as you can. And it shoots like that a lot. I'm always It lasts a lot longer, right? But it does. It lasts a lot longer. And foliage lasts a long time if you just prep it and mm -hmm. you do it right. So just make sure when you're working, you're always just pulling your stuff down. You know, you could probably interchange this out with with between the holidays, like yep. from fall to Christmas, right? You can. The problem is, is remember, this is, a, this is live and it's perishable just like a produce. Mm. So doesn't last forever foliage sometimes will last longer than than the uh the blooming mm -hmm. so yeah some people you can and i actually eucalyptus and stuff dries really well right so um you know you could use it and actually change this over to dry flowers so right like i right. know that you grow a lot of your own dahlias and stuff mm -hmm. here and your own zinnias, zinnias or yeah. zinnias yeah. so anyway they dry well that's mm -hmm. a product that dries well, really well and it's something that we don't grow so well you might be getting some of those yeah just never know mm -hmm. yeah hard Next to season. tell what a abby might get me <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so we're just going to green mm -hmm. and you guys just tell me if you see a whole well, lot i know you, you you teach a lot of classes and uh you teach classes for ingles uh the floral specialists uh okay. tell them about some of the things that i mean you do when you go into the stores so Basically what I am is I'm a merchandiser. So I go in with their guidelines and I decide 
They take their guidelines and teach their floral people what Ingalls wants them to do as their job. So, mm -hmm. um, so if you wanted something special for a wedding or anything like that, you could order it, right? Yeah, you can order it. You can go to your local store and you can order flowers. Um, let's just say you want to do your own wedding or your own event. You can go in and talk to the floral clerk or the floral manager and say, hey, look, I'm really interested. I've got an event coming up. I want to know if I can order these flowers. They can order just about mm -hmm. anything you want. Um, what a great service. Yeah, you know? it is. And it's nice. And we, as far as doing weddings and stuff, we have people that are um, specialize in weddings and some that don't. So if you're going to have them do your wedding, you need to uh, go in and talk to your floral clerk mm -hmm. and make sure you find a store that does weddings. And give them at least two weeks, right? Um, about three. Three I mean, to be really, safe. You really want to do a wedding. You want to take a little more time to do your wedding. So let me just tell you what I did. I put some sunflowers in here mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to go in here behind here so you'll know what we're using. And these are just a standard orange carnation and we're just nice. like I said we're in, early into fall so fall colors haven't really come through real thick and heavy in the market so we're just kind of putting it together but it'll look fall when oh, it looks done. beautiful these sunflowers especially yeah the yeah. sunflowers are nice they're yeah. really nice heads um, this is good sunflower season and and Falcon Farms is in South America right um, we grow. Our farms mm -hmm. are in South America, and that's where mm -hmm. we grow because we get 365 days of good growing season. Yeah. So we um, mostly in Colombia, South America. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, farms in Ecuador. Um, we do have some stuff that comes out of California. We, we have a, a California grow, and mm -hmm. we do um, some stuff comes out of Holland. Um, most of our greens come out of uh, Miami area, leather leaf and stuff comes out of Miami area. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we just kind of go all all over the place. We're kind of kind of flying. Well, I can see things. why uh, uh, you're really good at. It. I mean, you're quick. Yeah. This is uh, what happens when you spend a lot of time. <laughs> right, right. It's like you and cooking. Yeah. I can't cook anything. <laughs> Well, I can. It's easy to, it's yeah, you're used to doing all this. It's, yeah. it's really beautiful. I Maggie. cook out of a jar. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what do you like most about doing this kind of work? I really think I like to teach. And I tell people, I do tutorials sometimes and um, for Ingalls as well. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, don't be afraid. People say, I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, you can do it because the nice thing about it is if you don't like what you made, tear it apart and start over. Right, right. Well, you yeah. learned from one of the best, wasn't yeah. Didn't you learn from Jimmy Carter's uh, aide when he was um, one of I his? Actually, mm -hmm. one of my friends, I worked at, I worked in um, Tampa out of the floor shop that was in McDill uh -huh. um, Air That's Force nice. Base. And um, <clears throat> a guy showed up and his name was Wen, and he actually wound up being the head florist for Jimmy Carter when Jimmy Carter was in office in the White House. So for some reason, I don't know why, I guess I didn't put up with him, went a lot. So he uh, <laughs> decided he took a liking to me and he taught me a lot of tricks of the trade well, that he, I wouldn't have probably learned right, right, without yeah. him. Well, it takes something like that for, you know, to really follow. I follow a lot of good chefs and uh, yeah. you always pick up great things from people that know what they're doing. So. And you just kind of you put your own twist on it. You know, you yeah. get an idea and you go with it and you just, it's like a recipe, I guess. You just absolutely you can take pick, it and run with it. Like these, what are these? These are thistle. This old. Aren't they cool? These yeah, they, I really love. And these are they're, they're live. Yeah, they're live. They look artificial. Well, they're not. <laughs> and they last a really long, long time. Wow. Actually, it's funny because people always I ask me. I love the thistle. People always ask me about my house. Oh, I bet you have the prettiest arrangements in your house. And mm -hmm. I bet you have I bet you have a garden. And I bet. No, because I don't have time. I'm not home enough, right. really. But second off, when I go home, I don't want to be bothered. Right. So right. when I do take something home, it's usually like a couple bunches of thistle and some yeah. different kind of eucalyptus. I cut them off and throw them in a jar and there you go. And they'll last. Sometimes different mm. things last different amounts right. of time and thistle sometimes will last. last. I can you know, tell. I, and it just, it's, it's, it's so uh, unique. And, and it, you know, I know a real special place for this. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> 
And, you know, I like, can't wait. It's yours. Because I'm it's not so taking pretty. it back. Yeah. That is beautiful. Beautiful. I travel. So, and let me tell you what we got in there right now. We have sunflowers. We have thistle. We have carnations. This right here is called Safari Sunset. It's in the Protea family. We um, are now going to stick some stuff in there. Oh, this wow. Is a, That's nice. Yeah. That gives it a, a really Just a pop. little shaggy pop. Yeah, it and it's does. It's going to fill in the holes. So if you see a hole, you know, it always, you know, you just always want to work just down. Just fill it in. You're just going to fill it in. And like I said, there is no... Some people are really particular about when they train. All I want you to do is get get the uh, start of it and I want you to play because I want that you to enjoy. So, yeah, this is... I want you to enjoy making flowers. I Maybe don't want you it to could come dog. back and do a class for me. I could. I love this. Yes. <laughs> you can find me some horses and we'll go horseback riding. Well, there's a uh, sunburst stables, right? Yeah. About two miles from here. I don't yeah. know. We, we, yeah, yeah, there, we, is. We'll, there is. We'll make that a date and we'll mm -hmm. go and spend a day and Maybe we won't this? have to do trout fishing and we'll go with something else. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Well, we could do both. We could. Yeah. You have a lot of energy like me. I so, do. Yeah. I do. So I think we're going to leave this one alone and we're just going to call it done. Done. This is the Abby J arrangement. Yes. Yes. And All now right. I'm going to show you how to do something in water. So this, put I put this one right form. here. So this one I put into a form and oops, oops. I'm going to go this way and I'm just going to grab another container. All right. So all this is is just something unique that looks kind of woodsy. It like kind of looks oh, small to me. I love that. And then it's just a little jar that's got some water in there. It's kind of got a driftwood. I mean, yeah. it could fit anywhere. Yeah, you could do anything you want with it. Mm -hmm. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run right here for a second. I'm going to grab some of these flowers because okay. I'm going to put some different colors in this. So beautiful. Just to wow. give it a little twist. We're going to get this over here out of the way. And we're going to bring some of that, and we're going to take this. And yeah, flowers, are, you know, when you get into, you know, growing flowers, I, I just fell in love with it. I mean, yeah. I just want more and more and more different variety. Uh, you know, being a gardener, you just you just want to grow more every yeah, year. I don't you know. enjoy it's, outside. Yeah, I love being outside. Well, one thing mm -hmm. I want to um, express to you is so if you do go to Ingalls and do your shopping, grocery shopping, always stop by your floral department because we have a large, large variety of pre-made bouquets, mm -hmm. of foliage. If there's something that you see somewhere that you want but you don't see it at your local Ingalls, ask your floral clerk because nine times out of ten and maybe ten times out of ten, they can get it for you. So don't be afraid to stop and ask. Um, we sell things that are very um, every day things that are long livers like we sell the moms mm -hmm. we sell the buttons we sell roses we just sell a huge variety. variety yeah but don't be afraid to stop and ask if there's something you've seen somewhere that you want because the floral clerk at your particular store she may have never had uh, a clientele that wants that particular product mm -hmm. so don't be afraid to stop and ask you know what's the worst they can tell you it'll be here in three weeks Right, so right. and every store is different. And every yeah. store is a little different. All mm -hmm. their clerks are a little different. Some of their experience, for, you know, varies depending on where they're at. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in my hand. So I'm going to call this a hand kind of Hand like arrangement. Yeah, we're going to yeah. call this like a handheld. And we're just going to put this, start with this in my hand. And I'm just going to get like a little bit of a foundation. So it's going to look a little strange because you're going to be like, what is she doing with that stuff? <laughs> but we're just going to kind of build and turn and build. Oh, look now, I got me a I can help now. you. I got me an assistant. This is Vanna. <laughs> just call her Vanna. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep- Abby J. Vanna. Abby J. Vanna. <laughs> Poof. We're, we're quite a team. <laughs> We have fun. We did the Southern Home and Garden Show. That's really where I got to know you. Yeah, that's where uh, we met. That was like, uh, Two or three, well, no, been four or five while. years. Time flies. But yeah, it's been that a was while over when we in Spartanburg or Greenville. Greenville. It was in Greenville, Greenville South that's right. That's right. Yeah, we did we mm. did several of those, and that's where I met Abby and learned all about her different things that she makes and manufactures and learned about her trout and salsa, salsa pickles and, pickles and, I mean, and we, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. She's got it all, so you know, if you need a good salsa. She's your girl. 
that's also an Ingalls market too, isn't it? Right, right, right. So you can yeah. pick that up there as well. Yeah, I try to help them out with shows and when they need uh, help with with uh, us doing or promoting our products. I mean, it's a good fit. Yeah, it really a, is. Yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta like I said, you gotta always grow your family. And yeah. So no matter where you are or who you're with, the more mm -hmm. family you got, the more helpers you got. Exactly. The more things that people can do for you. That's where I met Rachel with a. Uh, the cheese, the brie. Oh yeah. Uh, we met so you meet so many people. Yeah, because they bring in all kinds of different mm -hmm. people. Actually, there's so many people that come in from all different places, and you know, some sometimes it works, and sometimes you see them more mm -hmm. than once, and sometimes you know you don't see them but one time. And well, we miss our shows due to COVID. I mean, yeah. COVID has taken a hit on all the shows, uh, events, activities. Yeah. But you know, they're making it happen with Zoom, and, and yeah. you know, we're making it happen today. Yeah. Yeah, I miss the sh I miss the shows, and mm -hmm. I miss I miss the people that come to the mm -hmm. shows. We have some people that come back from year to year, show to show. Yeah, they come in and they they're watch. like family. They are. Yeah. They come in and they watch, and they just want to know what you know. What are you doing next? Where you been? What have you been up to? And they sometimes it's because. Maybe they're older and they don't have family of their own, and they mm -hmm. come and they just kind of feel like we're their, their family. family. Exactly. We're their extended family. Yeah. And, you know, we See just mine? try to help. I did a lot. She did a great job over there. <laughs> like I said, anybody can do it. <laughs> yeah. See you guys out I'm there. If you, if you need then. help, just grab a bouquet. And it's really not how it looks, it's the meaning behind these flowers. Right. It's the meaning. Yeah. It's always nice to tell someone you love them. It's always nice for somebody to, to bring you flowers. And make your day. Yeah. yeah. And just something special. So now what I'm going to do with this handheld is you see I turned it around and I'm just going to cut these stems off. I'm, I'm going to stay away from those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're really fast with those. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm faster. When I got to have my hands for cooking, you know. Yeah, I, I be I bleeding. Bring, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> Do better when I bring the right clippers, but I didn't bring the right clippers. You know, today. I have some if you no, want to borrow mine. Right. We're done now. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> We've clipped wow. them. Wow. So we're going to drop them in the water, mm -hmm. and we're going to just Look shake at it around. That. See, I don't think we need mine anymore. And then we're going to add some greens in here around the bottom. We're going to put a collar on here real quick. And you know what? We might put some of this uh, baby blue eucalyptus just to give it a little different juice. Especially since you're leaving it here, just put anything. Anything you want. you want, everything, anything that we got, we'll put in there, and you're just free to go. Mm -hmm. You can put them wherever you well, want. Well, you make it happen for Ingles. Well, Peggy is a very much makes it happen for Ingles, and what you do for them, I know they they greatly appreciate. And you know, I, I've always learned something from you creating these beautiful arrangements. So this is great, and. Um, you know, well, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much. You and me. just look at this, and guys. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. So go don't to, be afraid to try. Yeah, and go to Ingles and, you know, ask your floral manager if you're looking for something special for the holidays. Just look at this. I got mine. You need to get yours. And we'll be right back. From all of us at Ingalls, we just want to say thanks so much for your support. Because when you support us, you're supporting hundreds of local farms and businesses in the states we call home. You see, that's where we source as much of our food as possible. From our local dairies, to grass-fed beef, to organic produce, to bakeries just around the corner. We really are one team and one community. Ingalls, we're with you every step of the way. Welcome back to Field of Four, and my entrepreneur on the show is Nina, the owner of Spice 55 in Helen, Georgia. Welcome to the show, Nina. Hi, thank you for having me here. Well, tell us, how did you uh, get to Helen, Georgia from Thailand, right? Right, yes. Um, it just started um, when I was back in college. I came over here for like internship and I just keep coming back every year during summer in Thailand and finally I just moved to Atlanta from Thailand after I graduate and you know it's just staying in Atlanta for a couple of years we just feel like it's, it's not my lifestyle so I moved to Helen and I love it. So you just took a trip up here like you right. were just 
uh, on vacation right. and, and decided that Helen, Georgia was going to be home. Yes, exactly. I just took a trip and um, like a month after that trip, we found a house like for rent and I just, that's how it goes. It's just that only one house that available up in North Georgia is in, happened to be in Helen. So we just move up here without right. even thinking. <laughs> well, tell us how <laughs> the restaurant started. Spice 55, folks, if you don't know, this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's been one of my favorites. Uh, you've been open for seven years? Yes, since 2013. Um, Ploy, my sister, she got the restaurant started in March 2013. And after that, I moved up here in October 2013. Mm -hmm. I walk in the restaurant and of course I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. You're running Spice 55. You are one of the hardest workers I've ever seen. I mean, I go in there and you make things happen. And, and without that kind of uh, work ethic, and that's what mm -hmm. it takes to become an entrepreneur, guys. You've got to be dedicated, you've got to be passionate about what you do, and you certainly have those uh, qualities about you. I, I admire somebody like that, and I know your, your restaurant is very successful because it's always packed, and I, <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to, to get in, mm -hmm. and yes. I, I really, really think you're doing a great job. What is What was your inspiration? Um, we just, you know, try to serve the best quality food to people up in the North Georgia mountain. It's something, you know, other than what they have up there. It's just something different to offer, a uh, healthy option, you know, and we have for or, you know, variety of food. That so, will, so what yeah. are some of your best plates? What do you feel like they order the most of and that you do the best with? Um, for the signature dish, we have the crispy duck with basil sauce and uh, 55 pineapple chicken. That's probably one of the best two that best selling and most popular items. Well, I mm -hmm. like your ginger salad. <laughs> I like your fried shrimp appetizer. I mm -hmm. get that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you have great Thai dishes. Uh, you even can make them, she can make them spicy hot. And that's what I love because I can get it mild. You, you can get it whatever. You, you are there mm -hmm. to spice it and season those dishes how the customer wants the dish. And, mm -hmm. and that's what makes it different for me because I, you know, normally when you go to a restaurant, you just order it and it comes out whatever, but you take the extra step to get that dish right. Right. Every meal is prepped per order so we can get it to however you like to your taste. We can get it mild, we can heat it up just to, you know, however you like for your... So product. you're open seven days a week? Seven days a week, year round. Yes, ma'am. And what are the hours there? Um, on the weekday, we open from noon to 9 o'clock. On the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, will be 11.30 to 10 o'clock. Is this a family-run business? Yes, it's, um, it's like a small family now that we have growing in Spy 55. It's actually like, we're not truly family, but now that we all together and we're in this together it feels like family well i go in there and it looks like y'all work like a family together and yes. it's every, everything is smooth everything's clean how mm. are you doing with covid with since covid has been uh, a factor in a lot of businesses how are you coping with that well we take a lot of precautions for that you know mm. we follow the guideline whatever that needs to be done to ensure our customer highest safety mm -hmm. and highest food quality, of course. Well, I know you have yes. outside eating. You have yes. tables outside. Uh -huh. So if people prefer to stay outside, they can eat outside. We eat outside. I eat at, you know, you have a bar area. Mm -hmm. Y'all make delicious drinks, by the way. <laughs> love, love the all the different things you offer on that. That's a wide menu. Uh, mm -hmm. on the drink specials, right? Yes, ma'am. We have a pretty good um, cocktails there and everything is just been selling through summer. You know, the hot summer people bring in, we have the most popular lychee mojito and the lychee martini that you gotta try. Or the lemon drop martini. Yes. Very good, uh, made to order, 
whether you mm -hmm. want it tart, spicy, sweet, you do it, right? Yes, ma'am. So tell the audience again where you are located. Um, we're located um, across the street from Helen Welcome Center in Helen. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and how many years have you been in business? Seven years. Seven, seven years. So if you haven't tried this really nice restaurant, mm -hmm. you need to go visit Nina. And Nina, I want to thank you so much for being with us today. This is the, uh, hold that up. There you go. Everybody go by. And, and if you want something really delicious, try Spice 55. And thank you so much for being on the show. And we'll be right back. At Ingalls, we know the ever-present struggle of what am I going to make for dinner this week? That's why we started the Ingalls Table. It's a website that brings the best chefs and food experts right into your kitchen. You can sort through hundreds of recipes for every occasion, watch how-to videos, and print shopping lists to take to the store. It's all waiting for you at IngallsTable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings. Mark your calendar for Tuesday, October 13th at the Chamber Cup Golf Tournament. Brought to you by the Habersham County Chamber of Commerce and Kinetic by Windstream. It's all taking place at the beautiful Orchard Golf and Country Club in Clarksville. Call the Chamber today for more details. Welcome back to Field of Fork and what time of year is it, Peggy? Football time. I think it's tailgating time. And today, we're going to present to you some ways to make this happen, right? Yes, ma'am. So the first thing we're going to do, if you don't know this by now, you can find my product line, Abby J's Bean and Jalapeno Salsa. It is a great way, easy way to get it started. So what do we do? We're going to take this jar of salsa, and we're going to put it in the bowl. How easy. And we're How easy is that? It's really easy. It's for people like me. And we're going to put that over there. Then what? Then we're going to take this half a cup of cheese and we're going to add it to the salsa. Well, with the insert. And we're going to stir it around. And then... I think we need to cook this for about 30 seconds, right? Yeah. We're going to stick it in the microwave. And if you don't like the bean and jalapeno, I've got a milder version and Mild. milder version. Milder. This is the bean and herb version. It just doesn't have as many jalapenos in it. Yep, it's a little sweeter. So while that is cooking, I just want everybody to know this is hot off the press. The Ingalls Table magazine just hit the stores. It did, just recently. And there's another recipe in here. Uh, let me show you this. This is my charcuterie board, and this really is a way to entertain all your football guests and non-football guests. If they are not into the game, they'll be into the food, right? Be into the eating. Exactly. So make sure you go by your local Ingles and get your free Ingles Table magazine today. <laughs> And get ready, and we're going to take this out and see what we got here. I think it's ready. It's hot. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. We're going to get our spoon, and we're going to stir it up a little bit and make it sure it's warm all the way through. It is. And then, Abby J and I are going to make sure it's okay. Bon appetit. Go, dogs. Go, Knowles. Dogs. Knowles. Dogs. Knowles. Dogs it is, so... Woof. <laughs> thank you for joining us today on Field of Fork. And thank you, Peggy, thank again, you. for joining us on Field of Fork. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us for today's program. We look forward to having you back next time on Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. This program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table and is a video production of Kinetic TV. This is Channel One, Kinetic TV by Windstream. Local programming 24-7.